Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man, giving you the truth. And I kind of want to continue to bash this thug culture, this thug behavior, this shoot them up. They don't give you your stuff. Kill them dead. Listen, I know the world is not teaching you about God, but all you got to do is look around and know there's something, somebody created all of this that was more supreme than us. And the devil is keeping you, a lot of you, away from your creative genius. You focus on your failures. You focus on what people told you. Why would you hold on to negative things people told you? Don't you know that misery loves company? So why are you continuing to go to misery's house? You're supposed to avoid misery. Anywhere you know misery is, if you're trying to be something in your life, you're supposed to avoid it. And people always accuse you of hating black people, this, that. Like, I've been accused of that because I won't go to certain stores. Like, look, man, I don't want no trouble. I just want to live my life. I don't want to be in no jails. I don't want to be in the grave. I don't want to be fighting. I don't want that. I want the most high. I want money. I want the pleasures and comforts of life, man. Because, see, I know the truth because I done been on both sides of this. I done been on every side. In high school, they switched me to PAT. People was calling me a nerd. Like, I mean, I done been on both sides. Went to college. Acting a fool, trying to be a thug the whole time before that and during. You know, so I know what I'm talking about, man. After college, just got in a whole bunch of garbage that really kind of, you, you pay the price for a long time for the things you do. Like, even if you don't get caught, sometimes you still pay the price for the things you do. And that's why y'all y'all dudes need to start. And this is for everybody. This is for anybody. You know, but black people are at the bottom. So really pay attention to this. The things you choose to do, the company you choose to keep, and that company, sometimes you end up and you end up you end up shooting somebody for one of your guys. You go to prison, he don't write you no more. Or some of them won't write you at all. You went to prison for this dude. Don't go to prison for none of these guys. If you go to prison, let it be for something very, very serious. Like somebody's trying to harm your kids. Somebody is trying to do something to your mother. Somebody them tried to do a home. I mean, don't go to prison for fake friends. Because a real friend... It's not going to have you in no conflict. Now, it's different if you hang with good guys and something happens. That's different. You know, unfortunately, that's wrong place, wrong time stuff. But you got to realize this, man. The, the choices you make, especially in your teenage years, can affect you the rest of your life. Let go of this thug stuff, man. That's the, the, the That's a devil. Devilish deception. That's the devil. Let go of it. If you want to be tough, you want to stand up for yourself, that's fine. Just pick your battles wisely. But don't try to live that life, man. You, In fact, if, if you got to move to another state to get away from people you grew up with, family, stuff like that, and stay out of prison, prison ain't a place to be. Prison is for people who are convicted of crimes that they shouldn't have committed. And it's also some people in there that were convicted of crimes that they didn't commit. But again, that's wrong place, wrong time stuff. It's unfortunate. And even if you go to prison, I will make the best of it. If you if, if you got a long prison sentence, just make the best of it. Get your life right with God. You know, take up a trade. You know you're going to get out one day. Try to work. You know, if you alive, that's another chance for you to do right. Forget this thug life in every aspect of it. 
You don't need to hurt nobody to, to eat. That's a deception. Remember, the devil is the founder of all life. You can use your creative genius to get food and clothes and a place to live. If you got kids, your kids need you. You suppose you y'all need to start saying, man, I'm not finna do that. He ain't worth going to prison. Y'all need to stop using y'all felonies as an excuse as well. And if you one of them dudes that don't got no felonies, you broke because you lazy, man, get up and do something, man. I mean, this stuff is, I mean, we, this is the richest country in the world still. Even with all the little diabolical, sinister things to bring us down. Like rising gas prices and rising food costs. For what? Stop giving money to these other countries and and give that money to these farmers. I mean, we'll have no time to play. Whether it be dating, whether it be your everyday lifestyle in whatever city you live in. Some of y'all dudes trying to make a street rep. You gonna end up in the grave or in prison. Somebody always watch. There's cameras everywhere. And they got the technology to pinpoint on your mask. But that's all I got on this one. I got to take this call. Says the truth, man. Thanks for watching.